explore the world's oldest mystery. Why do baseball players wear hats? We find out you can shout your chakras back into alignment and discover the world's most adorable method of drug smuggling. And just in time for Halloween, we've seen the end of the world, and it begins in France. We're going way back! We're going to the World Series! Robot Lady, sound the alarm. Warning. The following podcast is another wasted hour. Warning. The following podcast is another wasted hour. Don't waste my motherfucking time! There was a time where DC had a curse on it where we weren't allowed to win anything. I swear to God, any time that anybody was good in sports in Washington, DC, we all knew, yeah, this is going to last one round, maybe two rounds, then it won't happen. It'll just fail. And now... The Caps won last year, and now the Nationals are in the wa- in the in the uh, World Series, and the Mystics won. Uh, Valor, everybody's winning. Everybody's winning, and I literally don't know enough about baseball to tell you anything more than that. So, uh, congratulations to our dear friends, uh, the Nationals, of which we know none of. But uh, what? Yeah, you it's know, like, woo. Yeah, yeah. That's no, that's good. I, I think I know less about sports than you do. That's probably true in various senses. Um, But what I will say is the next hour of your life is going to be replaced with two ignorant, uninformed, ill-advised, self-deprecating morons writing about opinions that they have no right to have, which are probably wrong and absolutely do not matter. Our goal here at Another Wasted Hour is to convince you that where we hail from just outside Washington, D.C. is not just a city of politics and scandals, but one brimming with art, music, and culture and championships. As impossible as that may seem. So listeners, now that you know why you're here, live in studio, we have Niall and Natasha from Taciturn. Niall, say hello. Hey. And then Natasha. Howdy. And Natasha's a girl. I just found that out. I just realized, uh, not from the name or anything, because you you came with a, uh, a bit of a sore throat, right? I did. And so I was expecting you to just be like, hi, I'm Natasha. I I should have. <laughs> Maybe I'll. I mean, we. How many? How many minutes do we have left? Like fifty-eight. I can. Yeah. No, I can for the kind rest of it. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up a little bit. Uh, do either of you follow baseball at all? Not at all. Not not at all. You know. So we should definitely keep talking about it. You know, there are four bases. There's I a know bat, that much. There's a ball. Yep. There's people who really like it. Hats. Yeah. I've uh, I've listened to enough like sports radio so that when people ask me about baseball, I can go like, oh yeah. Turner. That sounds like a name of somebody. See, I just realized that it's kind of weird that they wear hats. I don't think there's any other sport. Where, oh, I mean cricket, but that's yeah. like the same thing. That's like yeah, softball. Right. Thing. That's like European yeah. baseball. Not uh, golf. Baseball. <laughs> Which one came first? Do we uh, know? Swimming. Yeah, I think swimming wears hats. That's true. That's yeah, really like swimming came first. It's like yeah, swimming <laughs> might have come before baseballs. So. Yeah, maybe not competitively, yeah. but just like I need to get rid yeah. of the, away from this tiger. I'm gonna swim. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, there's. Is there any others? I mean, football. You've got hats, but they've got like face masks. Yeah, on. I don't know if that counts. Yeah, racing. That's not a hat. You've got it's a helmet. I mean, it's basically a hat, yeah. right? It's like Helmets are whole hats. head hat. Yeah. yeah, it's like they should have like more stylistic helmets. Like yeah. just the Cowboys should have cowboy helmets and it's just like no. a 10 gallon helmet that they have to wear. <laughs> I don't know why they haven't done that. Right. I would I would watch that. Also, baseball is uh, like the only sport that's like completely outdoors because soccer, they've got indoor soccer stadiums. There's indoor uh, baseball stadiums. Because, okay. like, the Astrodome, I think, is a Oh, is that dome. a thing? Okay. Yeah. Well, why are they wearing hats, so. then? To keep the ceiling from getting in their eyes. <laughs> and then also, if there's a nighttime <laughs> game, they're still wearing hats. Right. Well, that's obviously to prevent something. Moon rays. For people not yeah. to see their hair. Okay, that's what it is. It's so, that, so they don't so, have to shower. It's so that God doesn't see their impure thoughts. Yes. I believe what that's what it's for. <laughs> um, well, that's how, if that's how those work, I need to start wearing hats. Yeah, yeah you do. Uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of weird things about baseball. Baseball is also one of the very few sports that happens in very like um, thoughtful turns. Thoughtful turns, like yeah, like yeah, I guess. like you go, you're like, I'm gonna pitch now, and you're yeah. like, cool, I've got a bat, we're good, and then yeah. it's like one pitch. Woo! All right, that was tough. Yeah, give me that ball back. Cool, like the, like <laughs> that was kind of football. Football, you can steal the ball and then it's your turn. Yeah, there's like, a lot going on. There's like all these things that you can do to like change things up. Yeah. Baseball, like, it's only about two people unless it goes right. 
Right. Yeah. Like, it could it could also like if you don't if the person at bat doesn't ever hit. Yeah. If you have like a perfect game, literally it was just like the pitcher, the catcher, and the guys trying to like bat. And nobody else mattered on that. Sounds terrible. Yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interested. I guess that's kind of like how soccer works, right? Is like if nobody scores, then everybody kind of watches uh watches soccer just people run up and down a field for no apparent reason and it's terrible. But at least you're being teased in soccer because you're like, oh, it might happen this time. It could like happen. Baseball, the it could happen thing is like how long? Like half a second? Yeah. From the time the guy lets go of the ball. For all of the up. talk of how little action there is in football, yeah, the amount in baseball is like, whoop. yeah. All right. That was it. That was, the, that, was that whole play. <laughs> yep. um, so I guess the more important thing is that uh, for those people who aren't that into baseball or Me. you, <laughs> you're like I'm, I'm, I'm sportially challenged. I just don't engage. You don't. You know, I was thinking about it. Why I think it appeals to me, and I think the reason that sports appeal to me is that you can have an argument about sports and not be a horrible person. Like if you get into politics, somebody's gonna be like, you, "The thing you're thinking makes you terrible," or if you talk about religion, they're like. Well, then you are a godless fiend mm -hmm. or whatever it is. Like, there's always a person that like personally. But if it's like, I don't like the Cowboys, a Cowboy fan is going to be like, you suck. And I'm like, for what? Like, for, no. there, there's <laughs> so little like substance there that like you, you can't like morally be incorrect. You can just be an asshole about it. See, if if that were on the line, I think I'd be more into sports. You think if it was a conversation, if you could if actually, it like meant something that you like the Cowboys. Yeah. Like if that meant you didn't like black people, that would have been a great conversation. to have. <laughs> then, I then would love would it if in. someone were like, hey, I like the Cowboys. I'd be like, oh, I got it. Right. Gotta talk to this guy or hear what this guy's got to say. This lunatic. So uh, you're but now it doesn't matter. So do you when you have people who have views that are like extreme, do you like try to change those, or is it like I'm super curious how your brain works because your brain shouldn't work that way? Most of the time it's the latter, but a lot of times I tend to be that way too. Yeah, like I know it's boring. I know a guy who's a flat earther, and I'm yeah. like, tell me more. Yeah, see, How? that's what I'm saying. You got to hear what what's up. You it's know, why are you to thinking me, that way? It's like mental like Cirque du Soleil, where yeah. I'm like, you shouldn't be able to do that yeah. with your brain, yeah. and somehow you are. I have to find out more. Yeah. Like, how do you keep all those plates spinning? Because none of them correlate at all. It's uh, more like a car accident. It's like, <laughs> God damn, is... what is going on over there? Right. You'll take a look. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. I, okay. We have that in common. Yeah. I guess for me, the sports is the respite from that. Where I can yeah, be like, maybe. hey, that guy rushed for 75 yards and that's good, right? Yeah. We can all agree with that. Okay, yeah. cool. Peace. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's something, yeah. there's something, you know, weirdly objective about it. Um, but the, but you can still argue about it. Yeah. And the, I think that that's the like breath of air from like, you can't just hate people. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> um, so if you don't like sports or if you do like sports, more importantly, uh, you've got a, a show coming up Thursday, yes. October 24th, Comet Ping Pong. Yep. Will people be able to play ping pong while they're watching your show? I don't know. I just totally zoned out. No, you can't. No, I'm pretty sure you can't because where we play is where you usually play ping pong. Yeah, it oh. transitions. I'm so will, sorry. Will you let people play ping pong over I, you? I want to. I'm going to probably be playing ping pong <laughs> during my set. Uh, that's down in Washington, D.C. for those that uh, aren't aware. Again, that's Thursday, October 24th. Um, anybody else on the uh, show with you? Yeah. Uh, Frankie and the Witch Fingers, okay. a really cool kind of like garage rock band from L.A. Nice. So. Coming all the way out here from L.A. Yeah, yeah just to see us. Yep. No. Just, no. <laughs> they're not even playing. No. They're just, they're just, <laughs> just here to watch the show. Uh, um, and you, we have a, a track from you called Playing God from uh, the album Punk Death. When uh, when did that come out? Is that recent? Or? Yeah, they came out not too, just a few months ago in June. June. Okay. Yeah. So that's our first full length. Very cool. Yeah. And, and I saw that that was up on Discord Records. Yep. People uh, can buy it off of yeah. uh, Discord, which is a, a great local label uh, that we have here in D.C. Um, but they could also go up to uh, taciturn, the band dot bandcamp dot com. I yeah. assume download things from there. And um, uh, do you have more music on the way? Is 
that where people would go to see the next album that's in the works? Yeah, we're. I mean, we're already going to be playing some new stuff uh, on the on the twenty four. Yeah, the twenty four show. Oh, cool. Uh, we're just okay. writing stuff as much as we can. Nice. You know, the second we were done with that album, we just wanted to. Move You're on like, this is trash. Album. We need a new album. Sadly, I've gotten <laughs> to that point. Now. I've been there. Yeah, like I don't know how people can tour the same album for like a year. Well, and that's what people don't realize, I think, when it comes to music is like by the time you're recording something, you've already like worked out all the kinks of it and everything. So you've probably been playing it for six months or more. Right. And then you go into studio and you record for several weeks or months and then you go and like mix it down. And that takes several weeks or months. And so you've just been listening to the same song for a year, a year and a half, whatever. And people are like, how do you like this album? And you're like, I'm so done with it. Yeah. I <laughs> that, this We was... did everything in house too. So it's oh, like, did you? we wow. had to hear everything over times a billion. And, yeah. over. and we're and not over. like, if you're a professional audio engineer, I'm sure you can get through an album a lot faster than someone who doesn't know all the tricks yet. Yeah. So I had to spend a lot of time listening to like the same snare hit. <laughs> like on loop for hours until I got it right. And I'm like, okay, moving on. Went on and to it, the next yeah, snare hit. Next snare hit. Yeah. <laughs> so well, so we have the track playing God. Um, we're gonna play a little of that later on in the show. But if uh, you're insanely curious what one snare hit over and over sounds like, you can fast forward to the one hour mark of this show and listen to the entire track. Uh, it is available available to you there. Then come back and join us here uh, because you will not want to miss out. Um, we're going to uh, give you guys a shot at trying something a little new. We now know that you play music, a little bit of ping pong, perhaps. You've recorded albums yourself, but you've probably never been a media mogul. No, not yet. So we're going to make you the editor in chief of a brand new publication. Awesome. You get to decide what's going to be in this publication or not. This is called the uh, the weather report. Um, so you decide whether or not this is news. These are all <laughs> real things that we found around the internet, and you get to be the actual filter to them. So let's uh, start off with Adam today. What do you have for us? I will say that I always love that I can tell when your iPad or whatever it is is malfunctioning because you just vamp for a few t- seconds too long trying to get that uh, sound bite to play. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, first up, Cat, accused of delivering drugs to Russian prison prison colony, escapes holding area in petting zoo. That is definitely... I th- I would want everyone to know about that. <laughs> Am I playing so, this right? I'm supposed to yeah. decide whether or not this yeah. the yeah, world you have needs any to hear about this. I, wanna yeah. wait. I definitely have some questions. Yeah, what do you, what do you need to know? You I want to wait first. to hear all of these these headlines no. and then no, decide. No, you don't get that luxury. No, this, this is, is the real we, world. We work fast here. We got to go to the presses. Oh, yes. <laughs> has the word cat in it, so I yeah. feel like that's going to attract the masses. <laughs> definitely. Just yeah. bring him in. I guess Russia is also yeah. kind of. Russia and cats. Clickbait. And I mean, drugs. Yeah. Who doesn't drugs. love drugs? <laughs> drugs. What, uh, are we allowed to ask questions at this point? Yeah, before sure. Yeah, what, of what, uh, what drugs? You know, What's it doesn't deal? actually say. I, it, it sounds like it might have been a variety. So it's Ooh, the catnip. local. It's some catnip. local city that, that I'm sure a is a perfectly lovely place, but I'm not going to try to pronounce its name. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to make a deciding factor on whether or not well, this I, passes it, unless you give the city's name. <laughs> Novo Moskovask. <laughs> What was that? Nemoskovask. That yeah, that's okay. totally right. Yeah, you got something it right. like that. I don't know. I yeah. feel like so, Natasha should be better at this. Yeah. Natasha is not Russian. Does not speak <laughs> Russian. <Yeah>. So, <laughs> I feel so like... apparently, it started off when this when a cat just wandered into this prison colony they have, and they this one prisoner kind of trained it to keep coming back, and then told his partner on the outside, "Hey, look out for this cat that I'm going to put this little marker on." And they made it a cute little collar with a hidden compartment for drugs. So every time the cat came back to get, you know, love and affection from this one prisoner, he would just take some drugs out and sell it to the other prisoners. Nice. But what That's I love great. about this is that when they caught on to all this and arrested everyone and they seized the cat as evidence and thought that the best place to keep this cat was a petting zoo. Uh, Yeah. That makes that's not the weirdest part of the story, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, it's better than a sniffing zoo. Yeah, right? I would think that. There you go. <laughs> but sadly, the, the, when the uh, prosecuting attorney went to go quote unquote familiarize himself with the evidence, he found out that the previous winter the cat had seen some dogs and run away in a fright, hmm. and nobody had told them. I like to think that Russian cats just have drugs on them. 
Just all of them? <laughs> yeah. Just they like just... majority. I don't want to... <laughs> At any I don't given wanna... time? Yeah. I think most of them. You can just pick up any cat yeah. and just get high. Some of them are good people, but Some I of think... Some good people. <laughs> I think a lot of the cats there have problems. Yeah? Have you heard of that drug crocodile or however you No! It? What? Oh my God. What is crocodile? It's ridiculous stuff. It like uh, just rots your flesh off. It gives you like the craziest high ever, but okay. it's like... It's war- I think it's a substitute for either meth or heroin, but it is so bad for you. Yeah. Unlike meth and heroin. Which are, are <laughs> basically vitamins. It like destroys your flesh <laughs> to the point where you can like see bones. So there's just people with their bones hanging out. Not that for long. Like so what you're saying thing. is I mean, combine almost... that with bath salts and we've got a zombie apocalypse yes. right yes. there. It's almost Halloween. It's so almost Halloween. it could be a, your IRL costume. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why yeah. Just... why pay Which... for a costume when you could just Get really, really and high. And you get yeah. the benefits. Yeah, and you get I get the benefits. high. Yeah. yeah. I've got three weeks, right, until Halloween. So, the weird, I, you know, it's kind of close. The weird oh, thing no. is, like, obviously, like, I don't do drugs and I'm not, like, addicted to things. But it feels like how many layers of skin have to go away before you're like, I should stop this. Because yeah. if it's getting down to bone, I feel like you've already missed that threshold. Some people are into that. Yeah. Like, it becomes a kink. Like, <laughs> you don't know. I mean, their I partner. I shouldn't kink shame. No. The rotting flesh kink is <laughs> yeah. serious. Uh, so is it news? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. If All we right. can, if we can just decide that the cats just had drugs on them, not because of any person. <laughs> <laughs> if we could spin it that way. They're just made of drugs. Yeah. All right. Uh, Adam, I have finally found the exercise for you. I'm so excited. Awesome. How I'm do you totally feel? looking forward to this. Yeah. How do you feel about yoga? Uh, I mean, I feel like the only stretch I'm willing to do is stretch out on my couch with my favorite pillow. Ah, how do you feel about rage yoga? Tell me more. (laughs) Poses include yelling profanities, devil horns, and flipping the bird. And every class comes with a free beer. Wait, I think I already do this minus the beer every time I have to crawl behind an equipment rack. (laughs) See? You've already... twist myself into weird weird ways and cuss. Yeah. So... You've already started uh, at least the beginner level of rage yoga, the latest trend. It started in Canada. I know what you're thinking. What? It started in Canada? They just legalized marijuana. How are they raging? Right. I I assume up there, there's just they're screaming like, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is really inappropriate. But then it's now starting to come to the United States. This uh, article said uh, Kansas City had a um, a class that was available. Um, is this something you guys would try? Would you would you do rage yoga? Uh, that's already what I do in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't I don't need. You have it. night terrors? Is that no, no. <laughs> just uh, I'm just a little upset. What positions do you sleep in? <laughs> All over every yoga position. You could think of. Oh, okay. I hit the whole gambit. You got eight hours. You're not going to hit all of them in eight hours. There's like 24 yoga positions. It explains why you're in such good shape yeah. because uh, you do it at night. I which, do it at night. Which is way, it, I have to admit, it's easier to do yoga while sleeping than yeah. it is the treadmill. I don't remember any of it. Do you just wake up from your fever dreams and like take a swig? I, that's ex- then? <laughs> I mean, where does. There is no cure, unfortunately. When I wake out of it, when I wake up, yeah. I'm exactly as fired up. Precisely as, as fired up. I just have a filter. Ah, and okay. now I'm here. <laughs> so you're like you're like the Hulk, where you're always angry. Yeah, but yeah. then you just. But it's like, like if the Hulk at night didn't have any control <laughs> over what shape he was. You just find the bed yeah. thrown through the window. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it, this sounds fascinating. The idea is that it'd be by being able to um, essentially emote in these ways, you're removing negative energy from your life and from your body and um, and bringing in uh, more positive um, instead of breathing you're actually just swearing and 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 uh, yelling about all the shitty things that happened to you that day so is it news I just want to know are people wearing Lululemon in that class is from it... the video it looked like they were yes oh, okay which I was surprising because I figured it would have just been they just would have been covered in blood yeah but um, yeah <laughs> Leather, maybe. <laughs> it's just those people doing crocodile or alligator yeah, yeah. or whatever. Crocodile. Yeah. I don't even know if that's right, but I'm going <laughs> to say it confidently. <laughs> you, you said it with authority, yes. so you must be right. Yeah. There you go. No one checked that. All right. So does it make it in? <laughs> um, Hell no. 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 Right. Oh, okay. 
man, every time. Bye-bye. All right, Adam, what do you have next? Just in time for Halloween, Paris Zoo unveils the blob, an organism with no brain but 720 sexes. Okay. I have That's so many jokes immediate. to make that I will not, <laughs> in this political climate, make. I just need three. Just do three. <laughs> <laughs> The blob? Is that what they're calling it, by the way? Yeah. That's what they're calling it. Oh, my goodness. That's so rude. <laughs> it, like, There's some ugly animals out there. None of them are called the blob. Well, the blobfish. There's a blobfish. Oh, fish. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Never mind. It's all right. <laughs> Go ahead. This, well, this thing looks... It's like it's yellow, and it looks like a combination of like mushrooms and coral. And it's apparently oh. a... It's a brand new organism they just discovered. A unicellular, small living being yep. that looks like a fungus but acts like an animal. So okay. it can move around, it can crawl, even though it has no brain, it can eat food, even though it has no stomach. Okay. If you cut it in half, in a couple minutes, it'll heal itself back together. And then apparently it's also capable of learning, where they said if, you know, where they cut one half and then healed it onto a different half, it passed on its knowledge to that new half. This what? I don't know how, it doesn't say how they tested that, but this sounds like it's just moments away from breaking out and killing all of us. Yeah. I just want to know where the line is for science, because I feel <laughs> like if we did this to cats, people would be really upset if we were like, we cut cats open and then we glued it over with another cat to see if it would yeah, like learn the thing that curiosity. the first cat had. And people were like, no, you can't do that. But then they're like, this it doesn't have a brain, but it's kind of like an animal. But you know what? Let's fuck with it and cut it up into a bunch of pieces. Well, it's like oysters don't have a central nervous system. And I heard that's why some vegans will eat oysters. Really? And so now will vegans eat the blob? Because if they will, this should definitely be in our our, our weather forecast. Is that what yeah. it's called? The weather, <laughs> the no, weather report. Yeah. The weather report. Yeah. yeah. And also, Keith, from your earlier example, replace the word cats with dogs, and the Russians already did that back during the Cold War. <laughs> that's, that's fair. No, it, it's well, it's documented. They were trying to figure out how to take a head off of one living being and put it on a different living being to try to extend the lifespan, basically. Oh, my goodness. If you remember the so newest X-Files thinking. movie that was pretty bad, they referenced that did pretty heavily work? in that movie. No. Oh. Hmm, okay. Weird. I think the best success they had was it lived for about a second and a half. <laughs> Was well, that longer actually... than it was supposed to live? Because if they extended it, <laughs> we don't like right on so. the verge of death. That's an extra uh, second you gave. Yeah, the guy, you know. Um, all right. So is it news? I already forgot what what the news. Is. <laughs> oh, the blob. <laughs> the blob. See, yeah. I don't get these kinds of things because jellyfish sure are also a ridiculous thing. Yeah, <laughs> they are nothing. They, they have nothing going on. Right, but they're just moving around, eating and being eaten. They sting. And yeah. they sting. What the hell? I love it. All this without <laughs> like anything going on. No brain, no yeah. smiles. My younger brother's no. like that. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hopefully he listens. Yeah. I don't know that he does, but it'll be hilarious because he'll be like, you son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> See, so what's going to happen if we make it news? Like what, what are we going to get out of this? I don't know. There's an immortal. Vegans will have a new food to eat. That's, That's true. That's a pretty important one. Uh, can we eat jellyfish? I don't. I don't know. Why not? There's immortal jellyfish. Did you know about those? See, what the hell is going on? Yeah. And then there's <laughs> octopuses, which is the exact... Octopi? Octopuses, which are the exact opposite. <laughs> where they've got a lot going Tasha's on. Tasha's so proud of herself right now. They can now. go through keyholes. <laughs> I mean, it's They're supposed to be as smart as humans. Yeah. And then there's jellyfish. Mm -hmm. And they both kind of look the same. There's <laughs> some weird they? shit going on. Sort of. They've got... <laughs> Flippy things. All right. So is it news? <laughs> no, I'm. Yes. No. Oh, we are at an impasse. I'm going to say no. I've had enough of this. This is just really uh, pissed me I off. I thought I liked now, Natasha better anyways. I'm thinking about <laughs> jellyfish and octopuses and I'm just stressed. So I want to avoid this from reaching any other people's ears. All right. So kind of a half point. I, I guess that's what we'd call it. Um, all right. Uh, Sam, uh, let, let's. Uh, how do I introduce this? Uh, who has two thumbs and can possibly unlock any Galaxy S10? This guy. No. Oh. Yeah, Samsung has admitted that uh, screen protectors could leave a small air gap, which essentially circumvents their ultrasonic thumbprint reader, allowing anyone with thumbs to unlock your phone. Oh. Yeah. That's a lot of people. So luckily, my phone is still secure, like yeah. from my cat. There you right? go. <laughs> as frustrated <laughs> as my cat is for not being able to open the food bin 
because it doesn't have thumbs. So, um, well, but I guess you don't have a phone. Yeah, not to. That so is, is true. It too mine soon is, to talk. About? Mine is mine is a brick now. Is the wound still ripe? Well, no. What it is is it's incredibly secure. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. What I've done is I've just upped the security on my phone. Yeah. yeah. So that it can't be accessed by anyone. This is like there typical IT dev thought process here. If I can't fix it, feature it. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Some people have been really concerned about security recently, and I have solved that problem because no one can steal my identity because of my phone. Because nobody can get into my phone, including me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it is a brick. Uh, so is, any uh, any questions about the the ability to get into people's phones using thumbs? I know you're probably yep. wondering, like, can Hemingway cats get into the phones because they have the extra like thumb they do thing? Have the extra thumb, yeah. Yeah. And so what's the difference between the thumb and the other fingers? If you didn't have thumbs, can't you just use the other four? I I would assume shape. Really. Yeah. Yeah, you got a fat thumb. <laughs> I know, but some people have skinny thumbs. Oh my that god, looks she like just my called fingers. you fat. Did you hear that? I don't think she that's just said you had necessary big fat thumbs. So rude. <laughs> You're watching the Niles, band implode right now. Niles in denial. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish this was on tape so I could show off how beautiful and skinny my fingers are. Uh huh. I've been told by a lot of people that I have the ideal male hands. Thank you very much. Wait, who? No one you would know. People. She goes to another school. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, uh, is it true? I heard rumors that your thumbs have two uh, seven hundred and twenty sexes. Yeah. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> so was that the other thing about the blob? Yeah. It's oh, I feel like we skipped over that part. Yeah, we we did. Are we going back what, to that? I think we're gonna have. I to. thought you were really angry yeah, about I, it. I was, and my <laughs> anger. Made me oversee a pretty interesting part. What is going on with this 700 and whatever? Oh, God, I closed the window because you said um, it wasn't news. Um, <laughs> just make it up. This is the first time we've ever had to go back. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Uh, I, I, from, I'm, I'm trying to How remember. How does that now. work? It, I don't Wait, know. Wait, let's talk about okay. Samsung right, first. Fine, fine. He'll yeah. pull that up, <laughs> okay. and we can discuss that in a second. Okay. Uh, what do we think about Samsung uh, the fact that anything with a thumb can open your I, your phone. I don't care. I mean, anybody can can see my stuff. I have nothing to hide. No nudes. Maybe you should try harder. Yeah. I, I just think life. this should be, you know, it's a free country. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're what right. You know what? She's got a point. I just love, I just love saying yeah. that. Right. Like, First Amendment, just, people. Like, just Honestly, say it any, any time. If yeah. you don't Out love of it, leave it. So... Right. That's what no, that's my want, stance on this. I don't care if people can get into my phone. I've got no. Second Amendment rights. <laughs> exactly. Then that's not one for one, but you know. Just so, flexing on you that I have a second amendment <laughs> right. I'm not really that interested. You can I, have I my... feel like anyone that was really that dedicated to getting into my phone. Yeah. Like someone who's like that's not a lot of a lot. dedication, just having thumbs. Yeah, like, well, that's true. <laughs> but I mean, and let's remove that security breach yeah. and just say right now with my phone. And I, I feel like someone could figure it out. You think if, so? if someone, if the president wanted my phone, mm -hmm. I'm sure he would figure it out. I mean, he already has it. <laughs> yeah, that's my point. It's like it's whoever already. needs it yeah. kind of already has the means to get it. Now I just have to worry about my five fingered cat yeah. at home. That's the only stress <laughs> now that I have. should be a concern. That is a very big concern. Because it's a fact yeah. that if you die, a cat will eat you. Yes, that is true. Dogs don't do it. Dogs don't, get really I sad. Dogs do. No, dogs will die next to you, but cats will eat you as yeah. food. And plus, I don't need some druggy Russian cat right. and getting on got my drug. phone, <laughs> yeah. putting their drugs on my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, Taking like pictures a, of drugs yeah. and putting them on your phone. I don't need that. Honestly, the, is is dogs will die next to you? Like, can that be in our our weather? Before? Like, I just want that to be a headline. We've made more. We've made separate news. I also don't think that's true. Yeah, how it's, dare that's you, fake. dude? Have you yeah. not seen Futurama? We yeah. okay. We have had a new dog in our life. Yeah. Who's we? Not we as a unit, but no one. We you would as the world have experienced <laughs> a new world. dog named Sam. Okay. And. uh I don't think Sam would. I think Sam would eat me, or okay. eat well, eat the eat, owner. He eats the trash. Yeah, 
We're yeah. getting off topic. Yeah. We, were <laughs> we are supposed to. All right, let's move on. Did you figure out how many sexes this thing has? I'm hearing that this isn't it, news, the Samsung. No, thing. no, it's not. Mm-hmm. All, all right. right here. Now, it, it just says 720 sexes, but it doesn't go into any more explanation than that. So if you, the listeners, have some ideas of what these different 720 sexes could be, please leave a hilarious comment on this video. I assume that's male, female, charm, strange, left, right. Yeah, I think the <laughs> 725 of those sexes are just different dick shapes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that means I have two. So, oh, God. Um, <laughs> go on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have like not interested and interested. Okay, there we go. Those are two different shapes. Yeah, those are. are totally different <laughs> yeah. shapes. One I can actually like put a phone, bo- the phone book on, the other one I can't. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Hit the stinger. <laughs> All right. Is that why you broke your phone? You're just balancing your phone on your dick and it just keeps falling? Oh, like I'm the only one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha's doing it. Yeah, we know it. True. Yeah, I know. You guys think I don't know what you're talking about? Yeah. Don't assume. Yeah. Sorry. <sighs> you put well, moving on. on. I have like 12 dick shapes. Mm-hmm. Damn. Exactly. I okay. just don't want you to get jealous. So I'm not. She puts sharing. a tie on one for yeah. formal. There you go. <laughs> if like you're not into casual sex, she's like, yeah. "Let me dress it up." Oh, look at this. Wigs <laughs> for that. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually very Mustache, cute. Beard. Yeah. That's this, a very cute aesthetic. Is this a weave? Yeah. Yeah. I put a lot of time yeah. into this. That oh. I guarantee you in like a thousand years, that's gonna be like a thing. <laughs> First off, people well, are gonna wait. be cool. Hold on. With... There's there's that vajazzle thing. Yeah. Oh my! That's the thing. That's back in like the the like Middle Ages. They had merkins, right? Which were like, which were hair like they were like uh, toupees for yeah. your down down. Is that there. a real thing? Yeah, merkins. I've definitely heard the word before. Yeah, it's a thing. Go okay. look it up. But I would use incognito mode. I won't. <laughs> so I was on to something. Yeah, I want that's my the thing. I don't need incognito mode. Like no? I have nothing to hide except for when I'm looking for flights. The only thing I, <laughs> the only true. reason I use incognito mode isn't because I'm embarrassed of anything. It's because I don't want ads of that thing for the next three months. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Like that's I don't, like I'm like yeah. yes I was curious about Merkins yeah. I don't need price checks on them all of the time please stop sending these no. to me <laughs> like sometimes I just uh, look up weird things and yeah. I don't need to know where I can buy them I have I have satiated my can, yeah. my curiosity no more information is needed thank you very much Google yeah all I right. definitely get enough butt plug ads as is I don't need <laughs> right. any more. Exactly. I was just curious. It yeah. was in the shape of the baby Jesus. There you go. Um. So, all right, moving on. What do we have? Moving on. We've been having way too much fun. We're so we're so gonna late. enter. So we're gonna enter our lightning round. We yeah. are just gonna throw a headline at you, and you got to answer from that. Okay. Ready? If you have a question, fine. But we didn't research. It. Okay. <laughs> Convicted <laughs> bank robber makes five day closing speech to court. That is a long speech. I hope he like used the bathroom. I hope he had yeah. breaks. <laughs> Like Mr. Smith goes to Washington, but with an edge. Yeah, if right. I have to give a quick no. answer, I'm going to say no. I'm not that impressed. I mean, are, are bank robbers a thing anymore? Are you allowed to do that? I yeah, didn't even I'm know. pretty sure they no, made that illegal. <laughs> robbing a bank. Apparently, yeah. at least in Germany, they are yeah. still a thing. But yeah. can you yeah. just have a closing speech for five days? Like, like what is the cutoff? Can you just yeah. not get sentenced? And you're so just apparently like, Germany has a, quote, last word law. It doesn't go into any d- um, explanation of what that means, but yeah. apparently it's basically you get to, um, oh, what's it called when someone in Congress just won't shut up? Yeah, um, I was trying to think of that too, whatever it's called. I yeah, say- basically, basically, if you get convicted, you're allowed to do that. Yeah. All right. So you can just continue on and on and on, and it, and they can't stop you. All I'm right. not interested. Not not new. Get it. Get it out of here. No. All right. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. What do I have? A man with his own name tattooed on his neck arrested for giving fake name. Okay, I like this. <laughs> I'm 100 percent in. I don't yeah. even need to ask any questions. Uh huh. Yeah, he has a we name need to on know. his neck, and they were like, "What's your name?" And he gave him a different name, and they were like. So it's not Matty B. (laughs) Does it say what the guy's name is? I'm already in. It was Matthew Bergson or something like that. And he had Matty B on his neck. And then he gave. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. If your name is Matt. Yeah. That's you shouldn't be tattooing your name. If you had like a cool (laughs) name, like. Alejandro. Jaundice. (laughs) <laughs> if you had the name Jaundice name. You'd be like, It's a name of something and Matt, yeah. That's my point, it's an interesting name What if someone named their kid Jaundice No I would... 
That's not a great example. That's a diagnosis. That's yeah. not a name. <laughs> I'd rather have jaundice tattooed on my neck than Matt. Uh, but somebody might think you have jaundice on your neck. And you're, well, you I'm just not... go by John your whole life. Yeah, oh John. Hey, that this... should be a name. How do you know it's not a name? <laughs> have you ever met a John? That might have been short for jaundice. Yeah, that's that. No, oh my God. I don't think that that's. I'm true sure at, all. at least one of you know how many Johns there are out there. Yeah, there are not only people named John, but people who pick up hookers, and all of them are jaundice. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yes or no? I'm in. You're in. All right. Excellent. Fine. <laughs> uh, speaking of things that are probably going to come out of a horror movie, yeah. China is breeding giant pigs as heavy as polar bears amid pork shortage. Mm. Ooh, polar bear. That's a that's a good size. Yeah. You can get a lot of meat out of polar yeah, bear. You definitely could. A lot what? harder to tackle. Definitely a lot harder to tackle. Yeah. I'm interested. I could take out a pig, I feel like. I could probably punch it in the face. Enough. They don't have much range. Yeah, I feel like I could really... If I got on the back of it, I could probably pummel it to death. I feel like a uh, polar bear... Have none I'm, of you seen Hannibal? I'm, yeah, but sure. But <laughs> that's because the, they're incapacitated. There's the body, and they're going to eat the body. But I feel like I can outrun it. There's also... you. I don't think you could deal with a boar, though, because apparently boars kill. Oh, that's yeah. true which yeah, is funny because they're basically pigs i yeah. don't really get what the big difference is boars are tusks. assholes yeah do they have tusks they do have tusks <clears throat> all of them they well, killed the king, ones that they, lost their tusks don't but well I, it took only one of them to kill king king robert baratheon back in whenever in yeah, history that's so. true that's a few years ago i'm yeah. sure there's one yeah. or two boars that don't have tusks due to jaundice yeah but <laughs> other than that yes they have is that tusks. like a standard for boars am i have i just yeah. been missing out on this yeah all yeah. boars have tusks I believe so, yeah. Oh my you goodness. clearly I have not studied like, the Boar God album cover. No, I haven't. I don't <laughs> even know what the album cover looks Has like. Has anyone? I don't Boar God is an amazing band from Montreal. No, I'm not saying they're not a fantastic band. I'm just wondering if anybody's actually studied studied any All should. Any should album have. cover. I definitely should have before this conversation. I would look like a fool. Yeah. We've both listened to this album so many times yeah. oh, that okay. we're in competition. I'm gonna say yeah. Let's put this in the news. You're in it. All right. I like Sweet. It. Are they still pink? Yes. Uh, it's too late. On yeah, the inside. The On the inside, yeah. A uh, man impersonating cop pulls over van full of detectives. Yes. That man's name, Matty B. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jaundice B. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, he that's He turned funny. on emergency lights, honked his horn, and then they came and they were like, hi, we're cops, and he zoomed off. And See, I always like wondered Eric if that Andre. happened because there's a lot of, and so I'm from Arizona. There's a lot of uh, undercover cops, not undercover, like, ooh, but yeah. like just like unmarked cars. So this wasn't even like an unmarked. Well, it was an unmarked car, but it was like one of those vans that yeah, they use yeah, for surveillance. That they have, yeah, okay. So they were like, you know, it was like a flower shop van, yeah. and they were all in there like getting ready for a stakeout or yeah. something. So it was like it wasn't like cops. It was like yeah. detectives that do like electronic stuff. And they were like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. that's a good way to drive around. Just, <laughs> just yeah. In a flower van. And if you ever get pulled over, you'd be like, dude, what mm-hmm. are you doing, man? <laughs> so is it news? I say, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Funny. Oh, yeah. All right. That's it, I think. I think we're done for uh, the weather report. Excellent. Well done. Thank you. That you was may, very stressful. You may have a future in this. There's a chance that you could become media moguls. But oh, before- You'll notice he's avoiding the topic where I won. Yeah, he didn't. Oh, I don't think he I didn't did. even know there was a competition between I, the two. It really wasn't. It's <laughs> okay. not a competition. It can't be a competition when I win so consistently. That's not true. Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's kind of not on the show anymore. Oh, um, okay. Is that why he's not in the room with us? Yeah, we, like a... we had to put him in the closet. So you're going to have to tell well, him to edit I'm, I'm, his I'm own room with you. Are you in the house right now? You're in a different part of the house? Yes, he's in, okay. he's in his cell. Um, we had to put him there because he kept... Trying to kill polar bears. Oh no! Uh, and and he kept trying to show me his seven hundred twenty sexes. <laughs> um, so, uh, but what we need is a name for this publication. So, how are people going to buy this when they go to the newsstands? What what is this called? Oh no! I forgot we we're supposed to be thinking fake nudes. <laughs> okay. All right, fake nudes. It's settled. 
This I like this for two reasons. First, hilarious. Second, actually a name of a previous episode of ours. So okay. um, <laughs> then it's done. Yeah, so excellent. So not only go to the newsstand and check out uh, the latest publication of Fake Nudes, uh, but also check out our earlier episode of Fake Nudes. Um, while you're doing that, don't forget to mark your calendars uh, for Thursday, October 24th at Comet Ping Pong. You can check out Taciturn. Uh, they're playing down in Washington, D.C. Um, they brought us a track called Playing God, which if you fast forward to the one hour mark of the show, you can listen to in its entirety from the album Punk Death. However, we're going to play a little uh, a little bit of that now, I think. Um, so let's let's set this up a little bit. Um you said that you uh, just recently finished this up just a couple months ago, you said? Yep. Um, and you've recorded this yourself. Um, playing God. Um, set this up for us. What was the inspiration behind this track? Mm, that's a tough one because, honestly, like, all of our songs come out as instrumental songs with, like, oh, the vocals are going to kind of sound like this. Okay. And then we kind of fill in the blanks w- with the lyrics. Interesting. So okay. what it means usually is reflective of what it sounds like and what it makes us feel sonically. Okay. And I mean, the lyrics is something that Natasha can talk about. She wrote those in particular. This, Yeah, this is a song that um, just I sing on. Um, but it kind of, I think I was just drawing from the idea of ambiguity. So, I mean, there's not really a clear meaning to the lyrics, but it's supposed to be playing with the idea of um, people taking control away from you okay. and um, or from a community or society, um, whether it's like the president or yeah. could be someone personal, you know. Um, and yeah, there's not a whole lot of like lyrical content to the song. It's mostly repetition. Do you yeah. do you lyrically kind of paint in broad strokes on purpose to to allow more people to kind of read and read their own stories into things or is that just because it the music itself has kind of broad feelings to it that allow you to 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 kind of that's what it inspires I think it's the latter because like if I went into the songwriting process like if I was like I have a story to share like if I mm-hmm. was like you know if it was like really narrative based then it would just be like a different song or different sure. style of writing um but for us it's more like the the lyrics really are kind of an afterthought because we're focused on mostly the instrumental thing that's going on and then gotcha. vocals will be like a like a mood okay. you know it'd be like a yeah. another, it's like the cherry on top it's like another layer of um the music it's our more so it's like adding to the texture Rather than it being like, oh, it means this. All the songs, they have actual English words in it, but really it's to build more to the idea that's already being pushed through the instrumentals. Gotcha. And Natasha, you you sing on this track. Do you sing in a lot of the other tracks as well? Are you is there a lead singer or is that a shared thing and um across the the entire membership? It's definitely shared. Yeah. So there's some songs where it's just Nile and I'm doing like backing vocals. Or it's just really split evenly. Yeah. Yeah. So both of you represent kind of the voice uh, piece of the band. Mm-hmm. And then um, do you also play instruments? What do, yeah. What else so do you? I'm playing guitar and vocals. She's doing bass and vocals. And okay. then our drummer is the only one not doing vocals. He's got a Lazy pretty big bastard. Rest- <laughs> Lazy. <motherfucker. laughs> He's got the most responsibility of keeping everything. So yeah. we like to share it between us two. Excellent. Well, let's take a listen. Um uh, so once again, Thursday, October 24th, I assume you'll be playing this song along with a bunch of others. Yep. Yeah, uh, head down to Comic Ping Pong and you can hear this live down in Washington, D.C. Uh, this is from the album Punk Death from the band Taciturn. The track is Playing God. Awesome. What? Where do you? Uh, what kind of music do you tend to um, bill yourself as? What would you call that? 
Like what? Well, how would we describe ourselves? Yeah, yeah. What do you? Uh, there's a term we use called noise punk. Okay. We really have difficulties describing ourselves. Yeah. Um, I think just about every artist does because it's kind of hard to just group yourself into a bunch of other people. Is, is this tune songs. like pretty, um, like a good sample of kind of what people would expect when they come to a, a concert, or does it vary so widely that there isn't a, a good particular example of kind of what the sound is? Uh, it definitely varies. Okay. I mean, this is kind of accomplishing some of the stuff we're doing, mm -hmm. sonically speaking, but like, sure. honestly, it's all over the place. Okay. It, it gets a lot more aggressive. At some points, it gets a lot more soft at some points, but it's really like, um, I don't know if this is the best song to be like, oh, this is what the entire album sounds like, but sure. it's definitely very descriptive of what so there's we're there's doing. hints of this throughout the album but mm -hmm. you also are exploring kind of other extremes as yeah well. yeah a awesome. lot of it's very aggressive stuff so. well if you want to listen to the entire track fast forward to the one hour mark of this show and you can do that or head up to taciturn the band dot bandcamp dot com that's t-a-c-i-t-u-r-n i get that right yep the band uh dot bandcamp dot com you can download the entire album and um that way you can sing along when you go to the show there you go would that would it be better to sing along or would it be better to like hum the instrumental bits um they should all do you should just mosh yeah we don't oh, just, want, mosh? just mosh okay yeah. just bang just bang just into spit each on other us. that's yes. what we need you to do <laughs> That's throw pizza at us. Just uh, come at ping pong. At yeah, pizza, they've got pizza. Yeah. yeah, throw ping pong balls at them. Uh, so Thursday, October 24th, Comet Ping Pong, Washington, D.C. So awesome. Moving on, uh, let's get into... Uh, we're running definitely late, but we'll we'll try and blow through this the best we can here. Uh, we have uh, something that's we what you like. say every to me every Thursday night. <laughs> that, that is true on all 720 of your sexes. Um, <laughs> so this is a, a little game show we like to call Please God, Just Get One Right. Nothing? Okay. No. Too busy uh, dancing this time. <laughs> I didn't have anyone to mosh with, like she said, so I just yeah. gotta... You can self-mosh. Yeah. It only requires one person to spit on us. <laughs> I'm pretty I'm true. pretty sure the church thinks that's a sin, self-moshing. <laughs> self is that why your palms are hairy? <laughs> yeah. That is too much moshing. Uh, so the Reverend Noise were on uh, actually now a couple of weeks ago, so... Um, uh, they played up at uh, Seasons and Sessions on October 12th, which has already happened. Um, but um, you could probably uh, go up. You should go up to their Facebook, uh, which is facebook.com slash the reverend noise. Um, they had to go through this same process as you will, but they uh, selected a category for you. Uh, would you like to know what that is? Sure. Yeah. Types of carpet. Oh, man. Persian how rugs. You, how are you feeling? She just said everything I know. <laughs> <laughs> Are rugs and carpets different things? Uh, I yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I definitely looked for carpets, um, but oh god, um, yeah. So I I think it may also include rugs. I'm not sure. According what. to a Wikipedia, they are the same thing. It the only difference being that carpets fill a room, whereas rugs are smaller than a room. Mm, there you have it. So All I right. took some liberties with my questions because do you know how hard it is to come up with trivia questions about fucking carpet? Yeah. I, I feel like I did really well. Um, <laughs> I'm excited. All right. So remember, no matter how well things go or how poorly they go, you'll get to choose a category in uh, for our next guest. Yeah. So if continue it goes, the cycle. Yeah, you of pain. If there's embarrassment yeah. and everything, that's fine. You can just make them feel the same way. Gotcha. And pass that forward. Um. So let's uh, get Adam started off on us. What do you got? To help combat child labor being used in the carpet slash rug making business, this labeling scheme has importers buy the labels to put on the products, and the funds are then used to monitor centers of production and educate previously exploited children. Mm. What is the name of this program? What? Dymo. <laughs> I'm thinking of the uh, labeling, those the traditional yeah, labeler. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the only form that's of That's the only thing I know. I know about labeling. I have one of those. Okay, then it has to be that. It's a uh, good weave. Oh, we were okay. Oh, okay. Close, close. That's yeah. That's not a dynamo. Yeah. All right. Uh, the pearl carpet of Baroda sold for five point five four eight million dollars. It was created in sixteen eighty five. It features pearls, glass beads, foil backed rubies, emeralds, and sapphires, and approximately how many table cut and rose cut diamonds? 
anal beads? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go with that answer, too. I love how, how he asked a number. How many? The number is anal beads. You just beads. lost me there. Yeah. I was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like I think we got the word in. He's like, I zoned out. I had some other things I was thinking about at the time. Fourth word in, I was <laughs> I was on anal beads. I was like, it has to be anal beads. A- answer for everything, anal. Um, butt stuff is uh, not the answer. It is a uh, uh, twenty five hundred. Oh my god, diamonds. that is a lot more than I thought. Yeah, it's... how big is this? Uh... I don't know if you have this. I didn't have the proportions of it actually, but I I uh, assume if it it's considered a carpet, so it would be room size. Yeah, but how big's the room? That's the thing. Uh, right. How I do you mean, fit that many diamonds? You what do, are they considering a diamond? What if it's them. like just Cheeto dust? <laughs> just, just, it's like, oh, that's a diamond. Yeah. It's like, no, no, not really. Yeah. I it's dust. I it's I, I don't know how large you have to get before it is a diamond. Yeah. And not just diamond dust. And that's gotta be a breathing hazard too. I I I would expect they have to be decently sized to be able to be cut, right? Because they are table and rose cut. So if you can't, I don't think you can cut dust. So I mean, how do they get Cheeto dust? You got to cut it. That's that's right? true. Um, but then I I think the thing that you have is dust and not a cut diamond at that point. All right, Adam, what do you have? Shindand, whose name I'm sure I've just mispronounced, yeah, is a town in the center of the district by the same name whose carpets are very popular due to their hand-woven techniques and intricate designs incorporating imagery from many local tribes. What country do these sought-after carpets come from? China. I think this is a trick. <coughs> the guy's name is Shindad, the place is called Shindad, and yeah. the country is called Shindad. <laughs> <laughs> the country of Shindad. I like the it. Answers in the question. Shindad, final answer. No, it is actually a real town in a real district by the same name in Afghanistan. Oh, okay. Mm. Excellent. Uh, as of 2014, the most expensive carpet ever sold at auction was $33 million. It was woven between 1600 and 1650 and was the only known example of a vase technique carpet featuring a sickle leaf design on what unique background color? See, this is the thing. What? Like, everything out there has such a culture. Like, <laughs> everyone has fetishized everything. Why do you care this much about carpet for this information to even be out there? Who's keeping records of the oldest carpet or the most expensive carpet? The internet. <laughs> Quite literally Those are everything. Real people. Yeah. I know, but who cares to some degree? Like, people on the internet do. Yes. Have you not been on the internet? Did it is you, filled with many things. Did you not hear? This is a $33 million carpet. Why, though? That's what I'm saying. Because it is the only known example of a vase technique carpet featuring sickle leaf design with this particular background color. See, none of that means anything. <laughs> that's, the, that's what I'm trying to say. You find anything. Go to a grocery store and just pick a random item and there's like a whole... Like a whole cult following behind like the deep intricacies of like ketchup, and there's gonna yeah. be a thirty three million dollar ketchup somewhere in Afghanistan or something. And what I'm hearing <laughs> is you don't know the answer. I uh, think I guess I don't know the answer. I, I don't know. You know, I'm channeling Burgundy. I don't even remember what the what was the question. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Was the answer supposed to be in a number format? No, it's a color. Yeah. So the the. The carpet was woven between 1650 and was the uh, 1600 and 1650 and was the only known example of a vase technique carpet featuring sickle leaf design on what unique background color is the only example of this. Okay, well, maybe it's purple because the Romans like this was a really hard color to so it's like royalty. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They were kind of gone by 1650. Okay, well, you know, time is not my specialty. When was Pompeii? All the Romans. All the Romans were gone. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm going to go with sage. Sage. Sage, is that a color? It's a color. He doesn't know. He doesn't know anything about herbs. He didn't know what rosemary was until like two months ago. I just knew the movie. What color is it? I have no idea. Pink? No, rosemary is not a color. Oh, my God. Get out of here with this. Uh, unfortunately, I, I did not hear the right answer. It's actually red. What? It's, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Red. It is the only example of this particular type of uh, carpet in a red background. It is very valuable, apparently. My mom definitely has a red carpet. So <laughs> I don't. Is it a base technique carpet <laughs> uh, featuring sickle leaf design? It's a pretty cool carpet. <laughs> it's got a lot of cool little things on it. All right, Adam, what do you got? 
reportedly made of green silk with a golden weft 60 miles long and 60 miles wide. It is said that when this person, quote, uh, uh, quote, sat upon this carpet, he was caught up by the wind and sailed through the air so quickly that he breakfasted at Damascus and supped at Medea. Who is this story about? Aladdin. <laughs> Perfect. Actually, Jesus. very, co- very close because I got this question from the uh, Wikipedia ar- article about mag- uh, magic carpets. So. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. No. I'm gonna go with Jesus. Did you say a year? Because <laughs> if it was zero, it's gotta be Jesus. I'm sure there was a year in the Wikipedia <laughs> article, but I didn't. No, this is this would definitely be uh, BC. BC. Wait. So was Jesus around from negative thirty to zero? Or no, from zero to thirty AD. Oh uh, no, it's after death, right? Oh, after death. Yeah, so he was he was around before Christ. After yeah, death. negative thirty to, to zero. okay. So how did they? Keep and then there's thirty years though? we just didn't yeah. record. Right. Okay. <laughs> no, the the answer I was looking for was uh, King Solomon. Okay. Great. Ah. All right. One last one. Here's your shot. We we're putting it. All, we're pushing all the chips into the middle here. Esteemed carpet and tapestry uh, tapestry designer Pierre H- Jose Perot designed the St. Louis the fifteenth. Savonnier carpet for the Crown Furniture uh, Crown Furniture Repository in France, which is the administration responsible for furniture and art inside the royal residencies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of um, course, yeah, everyone knows that. Between 1740 and 1750, how many carpets with this exact design were woven? Six thousand. I'm gonna go with seven. Oh, you were closer. Three. Oh. All very valuable. Two, uh, two of them are the the top ten most expensive carpets oh my out there. Um, so unfortunately, you did not get any right, but that's okay. A lot of people don't. We are not going to judge you, but this is your opportunity. Eh, maybe a little bit. A little. Ben, I'm, yeah, I'm very down on myself. Yeah, Adam will actually <laughs> judge you, but I'll, I'll judge you for giving a answer that's supposed to be in numbers with anal beads. Yeah, I, I judge positive, you positive judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Positive. That's saying I'll judge you positively, yes. but it's okay, still okay. judgment. Cool. That's a high five, <laughs> yeah. in my opinion. So, what category do you want our next guest to try and guess one of six uh, facts about? Let's do sauces like sauces? ketchup, okay. barbecue. So, like sauce. condiments. Yeah, condiments. Okay, I like Did it. Did I just choose it for us? Are you, you okay with that? I with was that? into like, she was like dildo shapes, but <laughs> that's too lewd. I like I Natasha. Mean, I'm just saying. We're are we trying to push lewd. the envelope? That's what you always talk about. I'm just taking your lead. Very lewd. Disgusting. So you want condiments and she want condiments as two words. Yes. Is what I'm hearing. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so listen next week to hear about everything you could possibly know about condiments, as long as they're in six questions. We are running very short on time, so let's jump in without further ado to Near and Far. Near! Um, far again? I heard that you had some some recording snafus. We talked about you recording this album See, yourself. That's right. So let's talk a little bit about uh, these recording snafus that happened. Uh, what was What was going on? Uh, well, a number of things happened. We okay. uh, So we were recording... We recorded everything piece by piece because uh, I'm doing it myself and I only have a few and my equipment was very limited. So we had to do, um, we had to record in a garage somewhere. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. And it was it's in always the fun. winter. It was in December, I think, mm-hmm. or January. And <laughs> there's no air conditioning. Well, you anything. wouldn't want air conditioning. We wouldn't want it on. want heat. <laughs> yeah, I want to air. I want to condition my air to be hotter. <laughs> so um, we didn't have any of that shenanigans. Yeah. And you're one of those guys that never says he's wrong, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not one of those guys. Um, so actually, not only did we not have a bathroom, which was another issue yeah. for one of our three members who had to poop. What? Um, I think all members needing to poop would probably have that issue. (laughs) Well, yes, that's true. Um, Where was I going with this? Oh, our entire interface froze. Like Uh, the the software froze? The interface, like the console that I'd be plugging mics into, completely froze. Wow. It ruined everything. Everything so was frozen. To, you had to thaw I it out. I had to actually, yeah, that was the funny part of with the story. Like a that hair I had dryer? A, yeah, with a mini heater, like a foot heater. Oh my God. <laughs> it was All great. Right. But you got the album out. You got it done. It actually ended up getting done and getting released. Yeah. If you want to hear the album, go up to Taciturn, the band, 
www.bandcamp.com. Uh, Check them out live Thursday, October 24th at Comet Ping Pong in Washington, D.C. Um, let's see what else. Oh, please like our post, follow us, retweet us, and share the show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We cannot do this without you. Also, don't forget to review us on Facebook, Apple Podcasts, and Google Play. If you're an artist, musician, or culture creator in the D.C. area, we want you on our show. Email us at booking at anotherwastedhour.com. Thanks to engineer Adam, Kevin Eminger, McNally22, Justin Rogers, Big Metal Records, Big Metal Studios, and Alchemical Records for all of their contributions. Thanks most of all to our guests, uh, Taciturn, and you, our fans, for wasting a perfectly good hour with us. This has been a wasted, another wasted hour, and if you just realized that, don't blame us. We warned you. <laughs>